Yo, how's it going everybody? My name is Jay Fatty. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Z Game Editor to make a dope visual, or at least show you some of the basics so you can really delve into it and make something unique. All right? So first things first, you're gonna wanna bring it in. I bring it on my master because I want it to like be able to hear everything. Um, so yeah, I just put it in over here. Brought it in, and um, it comes up with this. If you have the newest version of FL Studio, it's pretty dope. Everything's all in categories and shit. You can go right into the backgrounds and put some stuff in, you know, like a solid color. I mean, that's that, that's simple. You know, if you just want to start off with that, that's a, something you could build. And then to add another thing, you hit this little plus. Then, you know, say maybe you want like a fog machine. Just mess with these little settings that come up. So maybe we want it like different color, you know, but not as much. So we bring the alpha in. So there's not as much. You know, mess with some of the lightness. Size of it you can mess with too. Position, all that. These are all really dope settings to mess with, you know. And now let's add another thing. Maybe we want to add in our own image, okay? To do so, you go over to image effects and then just image, okay? Now, to add in your own content, you go over here and just go to add pictures. And say, these are all like templates and stuff like that. Say I want to go to my pictures. We'll just go to downloads. And here, we'll put in like this one. Okay, so now that image is in there because we went to add pictures and did that. I can go back to the main and click the image SRC or image source. And then there's my picture and I can even mess with it. You know, do some cool stuff to it. All right. There's all sorts of stuff you can do with this. Add particles. You can add, even go down here and add tunnels of just random stuff. So let's do Taurus Journey. Just something crazy, you know? Bring the alpha out, put it in like the back. I don't know, you can do all sorts of stuff with it. Right here, you can click through the presets easily. some really cool stuff and you can change the colors and stuff which is amazing change the speed okay now let's say you want to get rid of something you can just go over here and do a delete layer or just check it out check it back in now let's actually change this to text okay the text is super dope. There's three little options you can do. Mesh text, text draw, and text true type. True type, excuse me. I like to use text draw. And then you can switch between fonts here. I'm not exactly sure if you can put in your own fonts yet. So that might be something they need to add. But you can do glitch. Have your shit glitch. Separation. That's how it's like stuttering and stuff like that. Mess with all sorts of stuff, the angle of it. And then this text line feature is for back into this add content. So to actually change this to something that I want, I'll go in here, then I'll go to text, and I'll just type something. So Okay, so I got three. It, this is important. If you want something else on there, you have to re hit return and make it uh, the next line. That's what you'll, you'll see in a second. So... See, this says test type. It's on the first one. If I go to text line, switch it, It'll the second one's my beat. The third one is this is dope, okay? So that's pretty important. If you want to just copy a layer, you could drag and drop. Oh, no, sorry. The drag and drop is if I wanted to copy this to, like, an empty layer like this. And that just moves it. So it doesn't even copy it. Okay, interesting. But I do know you can just do this. Click this little button and clone layer. 
and then now I can move this next one to be a different one and then move the Y down see it's pretty dope there's a lot of cool stuff you can do now one more thing this is really important I'm just gonna mute all of these this is what a lot of um, you know people see you can just do audio spectrum straight up in this so this is where a lot of people do that through FL Studio you just go into peak effects and there's all different kinds of things there's an audio plane here I'll start playing some of my beat through the things this is fluidity there's a lot of new stuff that I haven't seen let's see what this is really so much shit you can do here um if you want to keep it super simple look they even got see they didn't have these last time i messed with this they just they straight up have the circle ones now look at this guys that looks professional as shit just like that you don't need much and it's super dope that fl studio has it built right into it so if this video helped you out guys make sure you hit like hit subscribe hit that bell all of that jazz it really supports the channel and i really appreciate that so thank you but yeah until next time guys make sure you're always staying on your your craft and striving and hitting it and getting it so yeah let's get it guys much love everybody peace